what's going on YouTube modeling that back at you so as you can see from the green and gold residue we got quite a bit of paint down tonight um, had to do a little bit of shift up so just to kind of start off originally I was going to use the spastics this works well however it is obviously extremely thin it's airbrush ready but it did not go on in even coats um, I 100% blaming myself for that but um, luckily, I tried it on the underbody first, didn't like how it was going down, so called an audible, grabbed out uh, Tamiya X5 green, which is a lot darker green than what I was originally going to go with as the base color. However, um, now that I've got some of the layers on, um, I think it looks absolutely awesome. So, just to kind of show you guys where we're at with the main body of the car, we got the gold and green on. Um, I don't have, uh, basically I've got the X5 base coat on this, and then I have on top of that the uh, Jaguar F1 Racing Team Green as kind of the next layer. It does have a bit of a gold tinge, which looks really nice, especially mixed with that gold, but I'm taking it a step farther, obviously, with the color shift. So, uh, also have here the hood which again has the same color, uh, same uh, main body color on it, things like that. However, the underside I have done in the color shift uh, overlay, which is the green to gold. So um, that's going to just overcoat the entire car. However, before I can do that on the exterior uh, paneling and things like that, uh, I do need to get the decals on because I want it to overlay those as well. So... Um, as you can see, just as you hit it in different lights, it'll actually shift from that nice, uh, bright, kind of silvery green uh, to gold. And then, like I said, that's just kind of the racing green, if you're interested what that color looks like, just for generic build, which is a really beautiful green in and of itself. Um, beyond that, um, went through and laid down a little bit of Molotow on the topping part or the topper so this obviously like I said isn't going to really get clear coated nothing's really going to happen with this other than the decals getting put on um, so went ahead masked it up just brush painted that as that's the only way to really get that good chrome effect onto that now to the underbody how that's coming along have it pretty well done on this part so um, this does have the same green as that, but as you can see, I already have the color shift in play. So that is overlaying both the gold and the green. Now, to go on to the gold side, uh, I wish that they still made this stuff. Um, it is uh, FS17178 Chrome Silver from Testers Model Master. This was... Probably, I mean, excluding Molotow, which is the most chrome that you can get, this is the second best. Um, this stuff, especially cut at 50-50 with uh, their enamel thinners, and it just goes down beautifully. Um, I do have a little test shot here, uh, just that I throw down onto uh, this tree here. Again, is it 100% mirror chrome? No, but uh, to be honest, this is even duller than what uh, normally comes out because that was like super thin when I sprayed that. So chrome silver uh, as the base coat and then doing the nice overlay of X24. And to show you the difference between like tree chrome and this, you can kind of see what you could get Again, X24, just over the chrome tree part here uh, for the front uh, grill inlet. So, to be honest, it looks absolutely great. Um, and in fact, this one, like I said, got the overcoat of the spastics green to, or gold to green. Um, however, the remaining suspension parts, so this part here, uh, which was done, with again, with the chrome silver, overlaid with the X24 along with the front one here and things like that are going to just remain this gold color so I'm not going to 
do any more with that. These, I did a little bit heavier of the yellow, so it's a little bit more yellow than it is uh, the chrome, but again, really come out pretty nice. Uh, for the gold that I used on the body, for the most part, was Mr. Metallic uh, 210, which is blue gold. Uh, it's just that lighter gold color that I really liked. Uh, went ahead and also tried out in a couple of areas, uh, including the transmission housing, which I have right here. Uh, that is AK's 472 gold. So you can kind of see some different shades of gold that is going to go on to this car. Um, again, you know, these things, for the most part, were built as complete show cars. So, you know, they tried to match them up, make them look, at, you know, tried to do things in, you know, kind of stages. So, like, the frame would have, you know, in this case, the gold. Uh, since it's more, uh, it doesn't have a full frame front to back, I just went ahead and did the front. Um, and this kind of diversifying, making everything just a little bit different, just to make each part pop in its own way. But overall, I think it's going to come out and look absolutely amazing when done. So, like I said, next up, I'm going to give this uh, the body, at least the night, if not a day or so to dry. Come back in and get the pinstriping on, which, again, it's not a shiny gold. So, um, I think it'll be fine uh, kind of mixing with the others. Uh, just kind of holding it up and looking at it, I think it'll be fine, especially once I do overcoat it uh, with this gold green. I think it'll blend it even better um, just to kind of mix everything or make everything kind of match. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, next part to this, getting that all on, um, everything on that I'm going to be putting on and going from there. So if you have any questions, comments, definitely post them down below. And... I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.